Hola Virgos, welcome to your, um, what, June 2018 reading. I'm actually away on vacation, that's why things might look a little bit different. Um, I'm going to start off with love reading for Alpha Virgos. You're an Alpha Virgo if you tend to be more outgoing, identify with masculine energies, um, a little more assertive, okay, then you are an Alpha Virgo. Some things to keep in mind, check out my Sun Moon readings. Predictions for 2018. Go look up your sun moon sign and then check out your prediction for 2018. They're in my playlist. Doesn't matter when you view them. When you review them, we're meant to see them. Even though it's mid-year, you can still get something out of it. Also, I'm working on compatibility readings. Go check those out in my playlist. Also, I'm on Instant Go. If you need one quick answer to one quick question, be sure to text me. Um, consider a personal reading if this resonates. My info and my rates are listed below along with my commonly asked questions. And then finally, I will be including a Vimeo bonus link at the bottom in this video in the description box where I will be doing a reading on your love interest. So that love interest could be somebody you're currently in a relationship with. It could be someone you're interested in. And yes, it can also be the ex. So whoever your heart is focused on is who that reading will be about okay so let's get to your reading holy spirit angel divine guides universe can you please provide your truth your wisdom your clarity your insight for alpha virgos let me straighten my little cloth here you know what sorry i don't mean to do this to you virgos but i know you guys would like your stuff correct so i'm doing this for you i'm a capricorn that's why i know that you guys like it like that okay so look come on hold on hello <laughs> Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Alpha Virgos for love for June 2018? Can you show us the past energies they have passed out of in regards to love prior to June 2018? What love energies can they expect in June 2018? And then finally, moving into July 2018, in regards to love, what can Virgos expect? Alpha Virgos. Please grab the objectivity to read these cards. Is there a time you read? Say your messages as you intend to be said for Alpha Virgos. So, Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me what were the prior love energies for Virgo, Alpha Virgos, prior to June 2018? You guys had the Five of Cups in reversed. Can you please show me a love energies that they can expect? The love energies they can expect in June 2018. We have the Nine of Rods in reversed. Okay. You guys pretty much want people staying away from you, I think. Um, and then finally, moving forward, you guys have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I'm really not getting a feeling that the Alpha Virgos are in a, a lovey, feely, let's look for a fairy tale romance kind of deal. And I will pull clarifiers on this. Um, so we have the Five of Cups in reverse here. You guys are coming out of a period of recovery. I mean, out of a period of loss, okay? So you guys are looking to, and excuse me. I'm trying to set up, like, the craziness I have going on here in my vacation village. Um, guys, I'm sorry. I should have been better prepared before I even started this video. I'm just... All right, let me, do, um, let me put this pen aside. Okay, I'm done. I promise. All right, so you guys are coming out of a period of... of in the upright, it's very much about bereavement. It's about loss. It's about having... a lost something, being absolutely devastated about it, being focused on it. In the reverse, you guys are actually recovering and moving on from this, okay? So this is a period of healing, um, recovery, moving on. Perhaps some of you are forgiving, forgiving people, deciding you don't need to suffer anymore. Some of you actually might be going out with friends, um, you know, just to kind of like make yourselves feel better, um, getting a little bit of your drink on, what have you, um, even if it's water or sparkling water, um, you know, just socializing to try to get out of that, that, that period that you kind of went through, which I feel was really kind of devastating. Um, now in June, this is another kind of little, little keep away card. I think as a result of what you went through, you guys are just kind of like, um, you know, don't want really anybody coming in on your boundaries. You're a little bit defensive. You're a little bit paranoid because of maybe what you went through. So you're not real eager to let a lot of people in. Don't get me wrong. You still have faith that you're going to be able to move forward. But at this time, you're still a little bit... Um, I almost thought of like your skin is still very tender. You know, it's still healing. It's like a... Um, 
<laughs> this is going to be really weird. I thought chemical peel is really what I thought of with this. Like for some of you, I don't know if you, maybe you've gotten a chemical peel or something, but just the sense of that skin, like that layer of skin is still off you. are very raw. Um, so you're really careful about who, who comes within your circle because you're still feeling very sensitive at this time. Um, as you move into July, though, I feel like you guys are going to kind of, with the Eight of Swords, you're fully going to free yourself and liberate yourself from this. So, um, you know... It, as a result of going through this, you're freeing yourself from perhaps old patterns, um, past ways, ways of thinking. You're going to be a little more open to change in regards to love, in regards to relationship. Um, you may have with this two of swords in reverse, a lot of indecision, um, dealing with a lot of information coming in, not knowing what to do with it all, how to move forward. So, I mean, I even though you're freeing yourself, I almost feel like with the Two of Swords, you're not really sure about um, exactly the direction you want to go because, um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of a lot of information, a lot of overwhelming and information, it could be when that happens, uh, you guys have a tendency to overthink, to overanalyze, so that overwhelms you in regards to that. Um, just make sure you don't place your expectations on yourself too high is what I would say in regards to love um, or moving forward with love. If you need the time in this space, and that's perfectly fine. So let's see what's going on with this Five of Cups in reverse. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide clarification on the Five of Cups in Reverse? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Five of Cups in Reverse for Alpha Virgo, please. Okay. Person, personality. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles in the upright, along with King of Wands in Reversed, along with... All right, so I think for some of you, you're involved with a fire sign, um, and it might have gone bad because we had the King of Wands in reverse. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries could have had it in their charts, could have just behaved as a fire sign. But when it's in the reverse, the King of Wands is a little bit um, aggressive. He's a little bit oppressive, and I think this is the experience that you had with this person. And I also think you hold, held on to, or you stayed in this situation longer than you needed to. Either you held on to them longer than you needed to, or they held on to you. Could have been financial reasons because we have the Four of Pentacles. That's holding on to money. That's dependence on money, holding on to something. Um, and but I think the reason or the thing is is that we have the Six of uh, Cups in reverse. So I feel like you had a history with this person, and you really, really always wanted to see the. We're looking at the good side of this person, and maybe that's why you held on to them for so long. Um, even though they were being like this, you knew them at another time when they were a different person. Um, maybe you knew them from childhood. Maybe they were a high school sweetheart. Um, maybe they were, you know, um, it just you go into the past and you remember. Uh, good things uh, or assigning them more positivity than you should just because I feel like you knew them and had a history with them. So I think you had kind of talks with yourself about, okay, well, maybe they're being like this, but I knew them to be a better person another time. So, you know, you might have stayed in it longer than you needed to, or they might have, they might have tried to stay with you, but I feel like you kind of did. This is what I'm kind of getting from that. Um, but I don't think it was a good situation because with this nine of rods, you really don't want to let that happen again. Let, let somebody in like that. Um, let me please buy clarification on the nine of rods in reversed. Why is the nine of rods here reversed? Who is this person? What is this energy? And with the Nine of Rods also, your isolation kind of ends in a way. Uh, you are actually starting to free yourself, but you're still being very cautious. Um, nine of Rods in reverse. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Nine of Rods. For Alpha Virgo's person. Yeah, you are releasing yourself. You're realizing, you're lightening up on yourself. You you learn to say no to this person eventually. I feel like this person would try to make you do things or you, you couldn't say no to them, but here you are, the Ten of Wands. Um, you found your voice. You found your freedom. You you became more forgiving of yourself. You learned to say no to this person, liberated yourself from this person. But here you are as the Knight of Pentacles. You're very hesitant to leave your comfort zone because of the experience you had with this person. Queen of Pentacles, that's you guys. Very single, even though the queen is married to, um, I don't want to say single, very independent, um, very married to the king of pentacles. She has a very independent energy. So you guys are freeing yourself, kind of going back in your comfort zone, um, rebuilding, um, becoming the independent person that 
you know, not needing someone taking care of your home, taking care of your family, taking care of practical matters, maybe focusing on work, um, to kind of get your, get yourselves together. You, some of you might be, be careful. Some of you might be working a little bit too much. So just be careful about that. It's, it's fine to work to refocus, but, um, using it as avoidance isn't always the best route. Um, can you please provide a clarification on this Two of Swords? Why is this Two of Swords here reversed for Alpha Virgos? Who is this person? What is this energy? Just additional messages for Alpha Virgos as they move into July. Love energies. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands in reverse along with the... Okay, so you're coming out of conflict, but I feel like um, conflict within yourself, conflicted within yourself. You're coming out of this battle, so you're refocusing here, and here you are uh, coming out of the battle victoriously, coming out of the conflict you have within yourself. You have goals in mind. This is a card of... Um, Cancer, for those of you, if that resonates, but you have goals in mind, so you have an end point, you have a direction, you're not letting anything kind of stand in your way, so some of you may be actually focusing on work, um, for goals, to just kind of leave this other person behind, or this stain that they left on you, um, or their energy. Can you please provide clarification? Eight of Swords. What I like is that you guys are getting out of this. I see a lot of liberation, a lot of freeing yourself, a lot of freeing yourself from... Um, you know, past patterns, how you think, how you are, which is really good. Eight of Swords in reverse for Alpha Virgos. Oh, oh, holy mess. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, so you guys are doing a lot of, so we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Fool, we have the Judgment card, and we have the um, Four of Wands in reverse. So the Four of Wands is somebody could have moved out, um, you could have moved out to get away from this situation. Um, you're coming from a, pl a place back here, a lot of arguments, a lot of um, things aren't working out. Maybe you guys thought you were going to put down roots and that didn't end up happening. A lot of times with that card, you see someone packing their bags and leaving, someone trying to separate themselves from somebody else. Um, the reason why is because you have the Queen of Swords here. So, and this goes back to you liberating yourself. So you're actually seeing this person for who they are, finally. You're not really assigning them the positivity you used to. The Queen of Swords doesn't suffer fools gladly. I love that quote that goes along with her. And you're seeing this person for how they actually are now. Maybe because you've allowed enough time and space. Um, oh, that's so weird. I just realized that a reading for a Virgo not too long ago, and this was relevant to that. I think they were a Virgo. They were either Virgo or a Cancer. Um, but you've allowed enough time and space, so now that you can see this person for who they actually are, the fool is you starting your new journey. Um, that we kind of talked about your, well, we didn't talk about a new journey, but you know, you've released yourself so that you can have a new journey. So you're being a little more carefree, free. you're ready to step into your new skin. You're ready to do things a different way. And the reason why is we had the judgment card here. That's because you've, um, you've learned, you learned from your mistakes. You have assessed yourself. You know where you went wrong. You know how you can be better. And you're, that's really is really about like, putting on a new skin. Remember here we talked about it being raw. Now it's like you're slipping on a new jacket or a new cat suit or whatever. <laughs> and you're ready to go out in the world as this new you. Um, which is good because it seems like this taught you a valuable lesson would be my guess. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Keep in mind uh, the link below. We'll have a link, a Vimeo link, where I'm going to do a reading for what your love interest is thinking, be it your current love interest, um, someone you have a crush on, or even your ex. The sun moon readings are up, so go check out your sun moon sign predictions for 2018. I'm also doing compatibility readings, so check those out. If you'd like a personal reading, email me. We can make that happen. All right. Otherwise, I will see you guys for mid months. I'm a little behind on these, but and I'm going to be moving on to the Beta Virgos at this time. Hola, Beta Virgos. How are you? You are a Beta Virgo. If you tend to be a little more soft-spoken, a little introverted, a little introspective, and identify with female energies, that's how I classify a Beta Virgo, okay? Things I want to mention that I've been mentioning throughout these videos. At the end of this video, there are not at the end of this video. There is a link at the bottom of this video for a Vimeo bonus where I will be doing a spread on what your love interest is thinking, be it a crush, be it the person you're in a relationship with, or be it an ex, okay? So you can click on that. Also, if you'd like an answer, one answer to, one quick answer to one 
question, text me on Vimeo, text only. If you'd like a personal reading, my rates and info are below, along with my commonly asked questions. I've uploaded all my 2018 Sun Moon readings, so go check out your Sun Moon sign and your prediction for 2018. Doesn't matter that it's mid or that it's June. <laughs> when you see it is when you were meant to view it and you can still get a lot out of it. And then finally check out my compatibility readings. They're all in my playlist. Just think of my playlist as my library. Okay. Alrighty. So Virgo betas, let's see what's going on with you. Can you please show me previous energies for Virgo betas prior to June, 2018? You guys have the four of swords in the upright wonder if this is going to be similar to the Alpha. Can you please show me love energies for Beta Virgos for June 2018? Love energies. Beta Virgos, June 2018. The two of rods in reversed. Sort of the same. And then finally moving out of June into July, you guys have the Seven of Swords. What the hell is that all about? Okay, guess we're going to find out. All right, so we start off with the Four of Swords. Prior to June 2018, you guys are taking a period of um, rest, recuperation. It could have been because you came out of something bad. Um, Four of Swords is often my therapy card. People seek, seeking counselor, counseling, therapy, light working um, in order to get into a better headspace. So that's pretty much what you guys were doing prior, just taking the time out, regroup, recover heal from something that kind of happened and that card is similar to the alpha virgos actually um we move into the two of sword i mean sorry but, but two of rods here okay so you guys are having um it, it isn't similar to the alphas once we get to this card um so you guys are actually having limited views in terms of things um your love plan that you're having or how you want to proceed in love isn't working out. It's kind of falling apart. And the reason is, like I said, because you're limiting yourself somehow, usually limiting your view. And you could be, for for example, I'm feeling like some of you actually have a criteria list. Um, you kind of set up for who your perfect person is that's out there. And if this person doesn't meet this specific criteria, then, you know, it's not going to happen. Or you have it in your mind that it's not going to happen. Um... So, you know, don't don't limit yourself in regards to that. Try to be a little open-minded, you know, just uh, throw, be carefree, throw, throw caution to the air. Go out on that date with somebody that you would have never thought that you would have gone out with or thought of in a million years. You know, just grab a cup of coffee. You never know. That could lead to a friend that they have or you could find out something interesting or at the very least you could learn something. So my recommendation for you guys would be to kind of spread your wings a little bit, get outside your comfort zone because you're definitely kind of boxed in in regards to love in June 2018. And then we have this Seven of Swords character over here, and that kind of threw me. That's why we have cl uh, clarifiers. Um, I mean, I could, I, could, I could literally say the obvious, obvious on this one, because it's the Thief card, so it's about somebody coming and entering, you know, betraying you, taking something from you, doing something shady to you. Someone coming in with a hidden agenda, someone coming in being sneaky. And that's why we have clarifiers because I'm just totally not getting. But the thing is they're back they almost look they almost look ashamed for doing what they did. If you look at this card in this deck cuz this is Aquarian tarot. His head is kind of hung. Um in the classic tarot he's not doing that. So I must feel like somebody in going June into July is going to do something to you, but they're they're regretfully doing it, or they're definitely um, feel ashamed for having done it. That's what I'm getting from that person. Okay, let me let me move on because I I'm gonna keep on trying to get messages that are there. Can you please provide clarification on this Four of Swords in the upright for Beta Virgos? Why is this Four of Swords in the upright for Beta Virgos? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for Four of Swords in the upright for Beta Virgos. Okay, person personality. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. You are talking to somebody, but the somebody you're talking to isn't listening. 
I believe the Page of Wands in reverse. And somebody from your past. All right, so during this regroup period, you guys are trying to talk to somebody or somebody's trying to talk to you because we have their, and, and the communications are very one-sided. They're, they're coming in. You're trying to talk to somebody, but I don't feel like the response that you're getting back or you're just, or you're not being heard because of this page of wands here in reverse is usually really immature energy that, that doesn't hear you, doesn't want to listen to what you have to say, doesn't communicate, doesn't. So I'm getting that, and I feel like it might be somebody from your past, somebody that you're nostalgic with, somebody you think of more positively than you should, and you're trying to talk to them. Or it could flip-flop. This person could be trying to talk to you. I'm not getting that, though. I think it's someone from your past you're trying to talk to. And it's during this period of trying to recover and heal, and I'm wondering if you're, you're thinking that your recovery and healing, this person is the key to it. And that's just not the case if that's what you're trying to do. Because it's probably just going to end up hurting you more. I'm sitting here thinking like a Virgo's in my mind. And, and, and if that's going on with them. I just can't recall any I'm thinking of beta Virgo's right now. But that's what I'm kind of getting. So I, I don't know if you guys are thinking that's going to, you thought that was going to make you feel better. But I don't feel like that's how it, it, that it ended up that way. Um, or maybe you are trying to talk to this person about the good times that you guys had, but they aren't, they aren't being receptive to it. I feel like either they aren't responding, they aren't listening to it. And I think it ends up making you feel worse. It doesn't help with your recovery period. Um, yeah, you should be actually having nothing to do with that person. All right. So let me see. This is an unusual reading. Can you please provide a clarification on the two of rods and the, and the reverse? Why is the two of rods here in reverse? For Beta Virgos, who is this person? What is this energy? What additional messages do you have for the two of rods in reverse for Beta Virgos person? Okay. So I do feel like you guys are setting in criteria for yourself. We the night, so you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Um, the Hierophant reverse. This is that's what's preventing you from having a committed relationship. The star card here. So, so I see Taurus. I see Aquarius. For those of you if that resonates, but I feel like you're um, you're limiting your views. So it's it's like I said, it's setting you up for disappointment with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You keep on running into these people who have commitment issues, um, or you're just rejecting somebody altogether. Um, the Hierophant. I'm getting from both the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups. For some reason, you tend to try to connect with people who um, have issues in regards to a long-term relationship. And some of you feel like you can almost like fix this person or you're trying to fix this person. I feel like that with the star card. Like you have faith in this person that they're going to change or, or these people that they're going to change, that you can help them, that you can kind of heal them. You can kind of you can kind of make them who you want them to be somehow. Why am I kind of getting that? Definitely leave comments if that's the case. But I feel like that's what's going on in, in June. And that's simply not going to happen. But, I mean, the star card usually ha it has obviously a lot of meanings to it. But that's what I'm getting from this. That you keep meeting the wrong type of person. But you keep on thinking they can you can fix them to your criteria, to your ideas that you have, to... So that they can have a long-term relationship. So that you can... It, it, it's a little bit of a codependent thing I'm kind of feeling there. Let me see what's going on with the Seven of Swords because that's what I was really curious about. Can you please provide clarification here on the Seven of Swords in the upright? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Seven of Swords here in the upright for Beta Virgos? Additional messages, please. Personality. Okay, we have the Hangman and Reversed. All right, so I... I Thinking you do get involved with somebody moving out of June into July. It was displaying characteristics that aren't necessarily very good. But why am I getting the feeling you guys think you can fix them somehow? I think it's because this. I have the Empress along with the Ten of Cups, but the Hangman here is kind of telling me that you guys don't have to do this. You could, you guys are making yourself a victim trying to do this. You're continually making yourself a victim, setting yourself up for these kind of people. 
setting yourself up to be taken advantage of, to have something taken from you. But again, with the Seven of Swords, I don't get that this person's like doing it purposely. I think you just tumble, fall into these relation, these kinds of relationships. And they're telling you, you can release yourself. You don't have to be the victim. You're setting yourself up to be the victim. Because here's the Empress, so that's you. Um feeling you like you're this person that you know everything you touch will grow everything you touch will heal that you can bring happiness to any kind of situation or fix any kind of situation and again I feel like that's just going to continue to um, end up in disappointment so I would return here to this four of swords and kind of really regroup and kind of figure out you know is is the way that you're hitting the nail with a hammer at the same angle is it still working for you or do you have to move the nail to off of a stud and see if it works better for you okay that's what I'm kind of getting from this all right beta Virgos I'm gonna go ahead and move on I'm gonna be doing um, next I'm gonna be doing what your love interest is thinking so there will be a link below to take you to the Vimeo video for that your love interest can be your current love interest somebody you have a crush on and yes it can also be your ex check out your 2018 Sun signs which are up in my I mean some moon signs which are up in my playlist uh, they have predictions for 2018. What else do we have in playlists? I also have compatibility readings. Check those out. I'm on Instinco if you need a quick answer to a quick question, text only. And then finally, consider a personal reading if this reading resonated with you. Otherwise, Beta Virgos, I wish you all the best and I will see you guys mid month for your general mid month. Okay. Adios from Veronica Garnet. Sorry, my big old hands in there. Oh, yes. Bye, guys.